Namaste, asshole. Nice of you to not knock. Don't worry, I'm not whacking it this time. I'm just finishing up some meditation. So give me a second. I'm pretty fast at this. Fuck. Well, I finished. I beat meditation. And, uh, I'm a little torn up about it, I'm not gonna lie, because, you know, I reached enlightenment, I reached around enlightenment, I gave enlightenment the business. And for a while it was good, but then enlightenment got all like, ugh, come meet my parents, are we ever gonna get engaged? What do you think about kids? And, look, me and enlightenment are taking a break, and honestly, I think it's more than a break, um... Can I sleep on your couch? I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pre-Game Discharge. The only video game show that I fucking tried, man. Nintendo did a Nintendo Direct right after I finished my show, because of course they did. The more things change, the more they stay the same, huh? This one was focused on indie games, and there were a bunch of them, probably too many to go over individually, and a lot of them were just ports. But some of the highlights for me included the Red Lantern, which is like a story-driven, dog-sledding, atmospheric thing, and also a bear can come in and fuck you right up. A Hotline Miami looking ass side-scroller called Katana Zero that seems like it's fun as shit. A new Double Fine game called called Rad, where you play as a radiated child and can lay vile child eggs. Add that to the list of things I should never say again. And probably the biggest one, a sequel to Crypt of the Necro Dancer that's also a Zelda crossover called Cadence of Hyrule. Full disclosure, I do have friends that worked on Crypt of the Necro Dancer, but I actually think it's really cool despite that. Look at this fucking guy. Does this look like the face of a man that can tell me what to think? Person 5, the Royal, got announced. And nobody knows what it is. Is it a sequel? Is it a special edition remake? All we know so far is that it exists and a girl happens in it, just like real life. PlayStation had a state of the PlayStation address, which is basically the PlayStation equivalent of a Nintendo Direct. This one they focus mostly on PlayStation VR titles, so if that's something in the wheelhouse of what you'd be interested in, I'd recommend checking it out. For the rest of you, here's a guy fist bumping a falcon. Other than that, not a lot of new announcements, mostly just trailers for stuff we already knew was happening, but they did announce a game called Observation, where you play as a space station. Not sure yet if you're HAL 9000ing this poor lady, or if you're trying to keep her alive, but I don't know, she seems nice enough. They also announced this game called Concrete Genie, which... I mean, it looks pretty cool, I guess. Just when you call your game Concrete Genie, the expectations are um, may maybe in a little bit of a different place. Onyware Games, which is a development team led by my friend Chris O'Neill, is making a game called Bulbo. Check out the announcement trailer if you want, but be warned, it features a witch most foul. There's gonna be a new Samurai Showdown, which I'm sure is cool if that just so happens to be the arcade cabinet that ye were plopped in in front of as a Wii one. That really is all it is with fighting games, isn't it? It's like the holiday you celebrate in December. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 got announced. If you want to drink a feller and then, whoa, hello. Sorry, I got distracted. What was I talking about? Yo, that's a blood tsunami. It's fucking metal. Anyway, I'm Lyle Rath, and this has been Pre-Game Discharge. Come back next week, or next week will come back for you.